Okay, last video of the day. This is a flip through of my um, 2018 Hobonichi journal that I use as just a journal and like a gratitude journal and daily journaling and, um, you know, like emotional purging, that kind of stuff. Uh, but it does have some decorative elements that I just thought I would show today because it's because it's artsy and creative and my other love besides tarot and oracle. I have a deep love of Hobonichi journals. Um, this is my fourth year with a Hobonichi um, and I don't see any sign of stopping anytime soon. Um, I've filled four years of Hobonichi journaling and I have a pattern that I seem to have adopted that I was going to show you today just for some small decorative elements that make it um, kind of creative and to just brighten them up and um, enjoy my experience and make me look forward to coming in every evening and spending some time with my with my Hobonichi. So this is my current one for 2018. These are past years. So it really is just two or three simple things. Um, I have I have a lot of washi tape and I've got some cut out words that I use and those are my two staples because it's super fast and easy and I don't really want to spend time um, decorating this journal as much as I want to spend time like writing in it and just all right let's get these out of the way and let's just look at 2018 for now um, okay so I start out this is a, a Jane Davenport um, piece of art that I've just glued in I have a lot of my own art as well but I keep washi tapes just um, on old they're not credit cards but they're like hotel keys you know hotel key cars or um, I have some of my business cards, not like I take it anywhere. I just like to see my own art in places, honestly. So um, so I just keep little things that I like to see when I come in in the evening. Here's a little, it's just a little metal medallion that says believe. And here's like the tiniest little scissors you've ever seen. They're completely flat and they're just great for little crafty trim jobs and they just stay in there all the time and I don't even notice them. Just put extra paper on the cover so that I don't look at the, let's see if I can find, so that I'm not looking at a plain vanilla Hobonichi color. And um, then I have my art that I just printed on the printer and I even made stickers out of my art and then um, washi tape. And one of my favorite sayings for 2018 is she gave no, you know what, and she lived happily ever after the end. I love to finish my day that way. Okay, so really what I wanted to show you was decorative things, but uh, I wanted to show you the two things, the washi tape and the word tags that have found their way into my Hobonichis for several years now. So let me see if I can find one to show you. Okay, here's a good example. I'm gonna zoom in really close so you can see. So here's an example of what I do. It's super easy. It's just, it's combining tape with maybe, like here's half of a butterfly and then these little word strips and they don't make sense but they kind of make sense um like this one says while i often dream of twirling zest there's unspoken juiciness and then here's another one over here again washi tape ponytail swinging random opportunities she contemplated in a myriad of ways here we go unicorn unicorns dance and dogs chase and if it doesn't it would be better left out and then I sometimes I hide little tiny, little tiny word strips. Like this one says, what do I have to share? Um, here's another, she radiates in and out, seeking answers. Here's one up here, I never give, my I never give myself credit for. Comparisons were not her friend. And then just little corner things that I like. Okay, let me zoom out here. And I'll just show you a few more and then show you what I do. Okay, so planning at the new year for my word of the year and some of my art lessons that I do. Um, it's a ton of journaling, but again, it's 
it's basic one page journaling but usually with like washi tape and I don't do a lot. It's washi tape and these word strips. This one says cotton candy, spun in her hair. Sometimes business cards or tarot cards that I find. Things stuck in the middle of pages. These are photocopies of soul cards. Um, let's see, that's a business card. This was an extra card from an oracle deck from the Red Seeds Oracle. It, it is so, it's so amazing. Um, um, Kasha a Tarot Map did a review. It's, it's a beautiful deck. I love it. Soul cards again, photocopy, just so that it can go in here. I don't expect this to last forever. Sometimes just pictures. That's my daughter. Mermaids. Here's some uh, tarot card extras. And let's see. Oh, here's something that I do um, on my birthday, late in August. I I write myself um, a card and I seal it up and I don't know what's in there. I've already forgotten because my brain is mush. So anyway, it'll sit there waiting for me. And then I've got a little more Jane Davenport artwork back here and some stickers with my artwork that will go in there eventually. And my favorite blue and green pen. Okay, so but so here's what I wanted to show you with the here's what I want to show you just about the word things. It's super easy. So I keep these little word strips in a tin. They they had tags in them. It's just a little metal tin. And at some point I cut all these out. It really didn't take as long as it seems like, but they don't make sense. They're just little word strips, but you just kind of make poems out of them and um and it's really fun, it's easy, it's meditational, it's brainless, um, but very enjoyable for an evening and easy way to decorate. So I combine the washi tape with the words. And if you haven't seen this before, Flow Magazine, or this is the Flow book um, that you get at Barnes & Noble, I think it costs around $30. but. I've had this one for a few years. I feel like you only need one because they're huge. And it's just loaded with like papers and um, I don't know, stickers. Let's see, there's more stickers. Let's see if I can find the <clears throat> I want to see if I can find you the papers. Oh, here's some of them that I love. Look, it's got little pineapples on it. Blueberries, watermelons, the oranges I love. Some extra papers. It's just awesome eye candy for anyone who loves stationery or paper or loves decorating. And I, in typical paper lover fashion, I love it so much that I'm afraid to cut it up, but I will. I'm committed to doing it. It's just beautiful, awesome, creative illustrations. Little teacups and look at people. Look at that. It kind of has a retro vibe to it. Um, so I cut up these and put them in there. It's again, it's just, it's super easy and brainless. It doesn't take much thinking to make that happen, to, to cut that up. And then where I get the, um, the words from to cut these. You can get it, I mean, you can cut up magazines, which is totally fine, um, but there are magazines that you find on the rack that have words that combined together are just, um, oh, I don't know, just more inviting than like your typical words that you might get out of a magazine. So this one is called Happiness. So the images could be cut out. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a tarot card? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, anyway, anyway, it just more inspirational. So, you know, that's a good one. This one's awesome, but thicker paper, but Bella Grace, I, I don't get these every month because these are pricier too, but they have, but the words are just a little bit more like inspirational and, um, oh, I don't know. Like they just carry meaning that I really like. I just like the, it just, it's kind of like word porn, honestly, the, 
a deeper feel to it. It's just super charming and you can tell, look at by the titles, Embracing Imperfection and the Season of Hibernation. Staying true and real. It's just visually so pretty. Different type fonts, different word combinations. Magic in the midst of heartache. You know you're going to get something good out of that. Anyway, that's called Bella Grace. So, you know, if you just get creative at Barnes & Noble, there's lots of options. So, here's last year's Hobonichi. I can't find anything interesting. Yeah, here we go. Fortune Telling in Disco Lemonade. a lot of just extra things that are just interesting if someone were to go through it. It's just movement. I like moving items too. I find that I like things that flip around and open up and and the gratitude begins. So my stuff. I think I ordered from Jet Pens and so they sent me, you know, their little business card or thank you and so I put that in there. And I love color. This one says, this is not a quick fix. This is my decision. And here, this one says, want to hide from the world. Nothing to see here. So it just, it leaves room for, you know, journaling and writing. If I just put a little bit of, little bit of um, decoration, in, like in the middle or on the side. And I just enjoy going back through it, you know, as the years go on. And I think, um, I think my kiddo's going to like having them on someday, too. Because I don't journal anything that's really private. I mean, we, meaning I don't care if it's private. I'll still let people see it. It's because it's real. It's real life. And it's, you know, real life and real thoughts, right? It's There's nothing interesting that's in my head that's not in someone else's head as well. Oh, this was my, my father-in-law went to Greece, um, and then when he passed away, I put that in there. And then this is March of the Pips. So if Kelly from The Truth and Story does March of the Pips again, I will be putting that into my current Hobonichi this year as well. Alice in Wonderland. I don't know, that was from a Los Scarabeo deck, obviously. Stamps, leftover stamps. Random, random sketches, random sketches, stickers. The moon cycle for sure. My new moon and full moon um, intention setting goes in my Hobonichi. Because if it's locked up in the box, I don't go in there. So I have to write it in my Hobonichi so I remember what I want to actually do. Sometimes tarot readings go in here. Oh, look at there's a little magician for Embrace the Magical last uh, October. There's another Los Scarabeo. I did a whole month in red. I did a whole 27-day uh, exercise and writing mantras and that actually did work pretty good. I want to do a video on that because there's a theory that if you that you create a habit if you you know do something repetitively for I can't remember if it's 21 days or something like that. Um, so by doing something you know every day so I did these mantras every single day no matter how tired I was no matter if it was midnight or 1 a.m. look at the devil card. You guys uh, Every time I get a new deck and I get extra cards, they always send me the devil card. It's the funniest thing. And you know I have issues with the devil, but it's it's my own devil. And then there's, what is that one, Llewellyn? The 
Llewellyn deck. Okay, I got off track. Anyway, um, it actually made a difference. I wrote for like every day for the 27 days, um, created a habit, and I did see some changes in like my perspective and um, gratitude and things like that. And some synchronicity started to happen, and I feel like I kind of changed the the tide of of my general just luck, right? I, it it did actually it did slow down some momentum of some negative things that were happening, and um, created some. It, it it was like it was like slowing a cruise ship, though you know, like it took a long time, but once it happened, it actually made a difference, and I. I have noticed um, a lot more stability in, in general, like in a practical sense, like in meaning money not hemorrhaging out of my account anymore and um, and just stability in my day and less emergencies. and less. So I did notice a difference in creating the habit of these mantras and changing my perspective and some changes in you know gratitude and things. Um, it did make a difference. Anyway, um, I don't think I need to go through all of these, but you get the idea. It's just, it's basic stuff because I really, my main focus is not taking away from the act of journaling. My main focus is that it has to be like easy and approachable. And so I just, it can be doodling, it can be art, it can be washi tape and stickers, the color of the pen changing, whatever it is. It just makes it enjoyable, an enjoyable act. It can be a label off of a beer bottle. Let's see this one. I spend a lot of time daydreaming about space for myself in my own heart, and I realized I couldn't walk blindly through my shadow. Like a ribbon in the wind, what piece of me needs my own kind of compassion every step of the way? And for that, I'll be forever grateful. And then here's the letter on my birthday. Here's a letter to myself on my birthday, like a couple years ago. So that's that. Okay, well... Alright, my friends. Well, thanks for letting me ramble on about my crafts and hobbies, and um, I will say goodbye for now, and I'll see you in another video.